Hello people, I'm 30 and welcome back to Imperator Rome, playing as the Roman Republic, as always. And as always, before we go on, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, so you do not miss out on any future content ever again in this campaign, as well as the other ones, as well as helping me out as a content creator. What we're going to do now is try to help ourselves out as, um, as an beginning empire by making sure we finish this mission then i think we could potentially try and take more things here or there was a mission about magna gratia building it up i do kind of remember that being the case we're gonna finish this one with sicily first and i feel like the republic is starting to look a bit nice now all of we are looking at some revolts potentially happening very soon especially in dalmatia will probably happen very soon if I could potentially replace you with a better guy how many people of the Claudii have a position let me see uh, Claudii they have four out of four so if I replaced him as governor in Dalmatia I would need to give the Claudii another position somewhere um, okay because the thing I want, what I really want, is not a miserly man. I want someone who's better as a governor than this current guy. Uh, just to make sure that uh, things, this place doesn't revolt. That's basically the reasoning I have behind it. Local slave happiness. You know, that's not a bad thing. I gotta try and take this guy and see. Yeah, it did. That made a huge difference. Because it seems like the problem in Dalmatia was the slaves. Or were the slaves. So we have finished that thing. You are not a small kingdom, you know. Or tribe. Neither is Trace. Neither is the Seliquids. Yeah, they're not. Neither is the Egyptians. Because the Egyptians are huge. And neither are those people. Neither am I, I'm a strong guy as well, but I'm feeling a bit scared about some people. What we want to do is deal with Carthage, but I think, as I said before, we can deal with them because we have a, a better navy. Hopefully we still do. I hope that to be the case, that we still have a better navy than they do. But I'm not sure, to be honest. We might do, we might not, actually. It does depend. Just waiting for this mission to finish, and then I'm gonna go for the next mission. So I'm not going to attack anyone until that mission is finished, and we also need to make sure our aggressive expansion goes away. Okay, get, did get an advance. What he could do is plunge the entire republic into chaos and become a dictatorship. And I've been thinking about doing this. Um inversely proportional pro pro proportional to our stability does that mean if we have mm, let's see here so if we have a high, i'm not actually understand if that if does that mean if i have a high stability it would be a large civil war or if i have a low stability it would be a large one i think it's if i have a high stability it's going to be a lesser civil war i feel like that's the case. So if I have more more stability, I think it's going to be a bit better. I have okay-ish stability, you know, but uh, do I really want to do this now? I'm actually going to wait, you know, we're going to get an advance again, the military one in, 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 some, in some time, you know. I feel like we're starting to not be as much ahead of time as we used to be. But I, I don't want to do something that's stupid and not be able to do anything about that <laughs> and plunge the entire republic into chaos, which I cannot deal with, you know? So that's basically my, my reasoning behind it. What do I want to go for? That's the question. I think province loyalty is a good thing. So reduced governorship. With some control over the provinces centralized, our locals are sure to grow more loyal to the nation as a whole. Yes, I'm sure. Because I have some issues with loyalty, as we have seen before. Now, especially on Sardinia. 
Which is something we need to deal with eventually. I could deal with an uprising though. So, Sicilia is famed for the quality and abundance of its grain. With the island under Roman control, we can increase production and ensure the people of Rome will never need to go without their daily bread. That's great. And then we can go for the last mission thing. The first Provincia. Rome will need to direct the administration of overseas holdings. These foreign lands lie outside the jurisdiction of Roma and can be governed with different motives in mind. We have established control over the islands of the Mediterranean, supplanting the ancient Great Carthaginian hegemony. What shall we do with these new holdings, peopled by foreigners of no relation to our own blood, and in remote places far from the ears of the Roman masses? The islands could become very profitable if profitably managed, but perhaps we should concentrate first on contriving a sense of loyalty and obedience. Eh. This will make the people in Sardinia even less happy, you know? This will make them happy. Or at least happier. Because I don't need the money. I don't need the money, and this is basically... Um, uh, Spina can absolutely have a... a marketplace, you know? I'm gonna finish the mission. Okay, so which one? Cartaginian? This is not going to happen yet. Not this one either. Growth of Magna Gratia or Subduing Gaul. I think Subduing Gaul is going to happen after I take down Carthage, you know. Probably Carthage is... I dealt with them by using my navy to blockade them from moving their levy. But if I want to take down Carthage, I need to actually move... My, uh, attack their levy. But I'm going to go for Growth of Magna Gratia first. So Magna Gratia is a region under our control with unrealized potential. We should send our administrators and procurators to, to this governorship to strengthen our hold over the area and grow the local economy. Okay, this is a lot of things. Man, that's a lot of things. Right, so. All port territories in Brutium are fortified. Are you serious? Do I really need to do this? Can I if I if I remove some ports, you know? Would that actually is this is a level two port? Um, they're all level two ports. Almost. I'm just gonna build a fortress. It's okay. I, I can afford it. It's gonna take some time. Um this one as well. And I think that's every single port in Brutium. We go back to the missions. Uh, Fruits of Apulia. Apulia needs... Apulia, oh, okay, we need farming settlements in those four places. That's what I need. So where is farming settlement? That's a farming settlement. Uh, I'm gonna go back to mission. Which is Shift F2. A good thing to remember. It already has one. Um, shift F2. These are only four, though. They say five. I'm gonna do this. Just. Shift F2. So these are the two ones that already has it. Which is the last place in Apulia which produce f produces food, then? Capua. Fourth level is greater or equal to one. They need two tax offices as well as a fortress. If they need a fortress, I need to remove um, an academy and build another tax office. Okay, that's not exactly what I wanted, but okay. Okay, we can either go for this one or this one. I think I can go for this one when I actually get there. All the pop assimilation speed, we get this for both ways. That's good. Bread and circuses, we lose this food and people become happy, or we lose this money and they get food. I think I'm go for this one. I don't see an issue with that. Okay, let's get the time running. Right. When will this happen? In 24 years. Man, like, assimilating or integrating such a large kingdom, it does take time, you know? Although it's it's peaceful, I would get a 
huge amount of aggressive expansion if I try to take this down, you know. So, I don't see it as a bad thing stopping from doing it. So that's okay. And man, Egypt is scary. As are the Seleucids. Oh, the thing with the Seleucids are they're, they're actually a Greek empire. And the amount of Greek Hellenic Macedonian pops that they have are not a lot. The question is though, how many people have they integrated? And they have a huge stability. You know? I think the stability has some things to do with my actual research growth, you know? As well. Something I need to deal with. Right. How much would I say? I wouldn't save too much on doing this. If I did this, I would save a lot of money. Um, but there's no reason to. I have a huge income. I have a huge chest of money. Which I really do not use that much. So I think we are kind of safe to s keep it there. But me clicking that morale bottom actually made them lose morale like instantly. That's a bit sad. You know? Not particularly nice. Not particularly nice. Because how how are these missions going? We have to wait one extra year, so I'm going to speed up a bit. Um, I think the next thing we're going to do after this is probably deal with Carthage. Because we, we need to deal with them. Like, eventually we need to deal with Carthage. There's nothing else we can do, really. We, we have to deal with them. Question is, would I like to take you down? I actually think I would like to. Taking uh, the Balearic Islands. Um, could be a good thing to do, but I think I might do that after taking down Carthage already. I'm not going to fight just for fighting. I'm going to fight when I have to fight. And in instead of fighting, you can go for an Olympiad, because of course an Olympiad is fun. And of course the Marians had another civil war, because they have it all the time. Thank you. That's nice. And the aggressive expansion is going down. That's awesome. It's decaying towards 50. Yes, I know. And the person of Shursus, this guy. One. And he's incredible, you know? Because these are going to be finished very soon. Uh, twisting the knife. Uh, I see this person as a rival, which is not great, you know? If the council dies, we're going to get a new one. He is actually very good. He's a bit younger as well. He's actually really young. Quintus Junius Philippus. I do think I like that. He could actually become my dictator for life, you know. The popularists do not particularly like me, though. They don't. And you want me to attack Scordicia. A venomous tongue. The person in Dardania is not particularly happy. Um, I don't think I'm gonna go do that. He can get some corruption, but that's okay. Because these are finished, we finished the trade. Maritime trade has been the livelihood of all the people in Brutium for generations. With the right encouragement, we can make this grow into a wealthy urban area. Thank you. Has at least two markets in each port. That's insane, you know? I feel like I have too many ports. I gotta take those away. And... Marketplace, uh, marketplace, take four this away, marketplace, marketplace, as well as marketplace. That should be everyone. Um, Apulia, we still need farming in one extra place. Where is that last place? Places that produce food. So we have the problems of Apulia. Where do you see what the place produce? Fish. Farming supplement. Grain. This is not... It's a city, so you cannot make a farming settlement in a city, you know? Right? No, you can't. Um, olives. That, that's not food. Wine. That's not food. Although some people would like to think it's food. Livestock. That's food. Hemp, that's not food. Lyseria, that, that's food. Fish, food. So, one of these places 
which one would most likely count as food? Like olives or... No, that's a food. Because I need food to actually be able to build a farming supplement in the specific place. So if it doesn't have food, I'm not able to. You know what? I actually have food in every single place that I can build food in. Is it because I don't have... This is a city and they want me to make this into a settlement. I think that's actually exactly what they're trying to say. Um, so Sylvian shouldn't be a city anymore because if this is a city we cannot finish this mission. What do we even get if I finish that one? Except being able to continue on with this thing. L local monthly food modifier for just 10 years. Yeah, that's only four. This is a bug. Uh, okay, sure. This is no longer a city. It's now a settlement. People are going to be extremely unhappy with me. But I think that's going to make me capable of finishing this thing. Yeah, they're not very happy. Probably because I revoked their city. I guess sometimes you have to do things you do not particularly want to. Because how's the thing? How are things going in Capua, by the way? Um, you're trying to finish the last tax office. That's good. Then that one is going to be finished as well, or at least it should be. And it is. Strengthening Capua. As the capital of Magna Gratia, Capua is the seat of power and the location of her high representatives. We must strengthen the city both as a defensive position and in its role as the center of law and authority. Okay. Oh, it's, it's, it's a continuing process. I see. Establishing a local bureaucracy. Strengthening our administration in Capua and thereby our role in Magna Gratia has made it clear how among the local elite that are fit for work in a proper Roman governor's office. It has been requested that we send some proper scribes from Roma to support the struggling local bureaucracy. Yeah, sure. I have no problem whatsoever. The Claudian reforms. The poor, numerous and downtrodden have long argued for an inclusion in the great armies of Rome. Oh. Of the generations of oppression, one man has risen to challenge the status quo and to represent the interests of these lower classes. Manius Claudius Marullus, who many argue has one of the greatest minds of our generation, holds a crucial stance in our Senate, walking the fine line between populism and nobility whilst retaining credibility amongst his peers. Ever an innovative thinker, he has tabled a proposition demanding the complete overhaul of our recruitment policies and allowing greater inclusion of the lower classes in matters of state military. Such a radical reform is sure to have consequences whichever state stance we take. If we go for this thing, we get the Marian reforms. Absolutely. I would love to have the Marian reforms. People are not going to be too happy about it. We can actually finally, finally, we already have it. We can build more legions. Awesome. We can raise more legions. That's awesome. I'm going to raise one in Magna Gratia. And I'm going to make it as how we usually do. Um, let me see here. This is cohorts. There are 10 cohorts usually in a Roman legion. Usually. And I need this thing. And I need engineers as well. And that should basically be it. And this is currently called Legio Magna Gratia. But of course, it's up to you guys down in the comment section to give me an idea of what you want this to be called, and the... It depends on how many people actually comment on this, but 
if more than one people comment, the one that gets the most likes or something like that, or the one, the one that I like the most, I would take it as the name for this next legion. So our second legion, I'm going to create it. It's going to cost me a shit ton of gold, but I'm waiting for you to give this place a name, or this thing a name. This legion, it's entirely, entirely up to you guys, you know? I think I'm actually going- oh right, I need to make it into a real legion in having some archers and cavalry as well. So, I'm going to give them one archers as well as four light infantry. Or light cavalry, you know. Confirm key changes. There we go. That's reasonable. It's smaller than my- this legion because they have some light infantry, but I don't think I'm gonna have some light infantry in this one. No auxiliary troops in this legion. So, heavy infantry in the middle. Um, flanking size 2. Second line archers. There you go. And you should go for tactic. Which one? Um, Triplex Asius. So we have a second legion. Finally. Yes, we do. That should increase our army maintenance by a lot, though. Yes, it did. But that's okay. We can pay for it. So in the future when we will have more costs with legions, that's of course going to be an issue for us when it comes to our income. And that's why we need a bigger income, generally, so we can support the legions. Because I don't want to live on my levy, really, because levy is cumbersome, you know. We gained a new council. There's a really, this really, really good guy, which I absolutely love because the former one died. That's actually awesome. I love him. So we need a new governor in Sissel Pingal. I'm going to try and find, go for the best one that I can find. Polymath. That's actually really good. Orchids. Okay. And we're going to need someone else to be on his position. Let's take the best one. We can finally finish port markets. By expanding the commercial districts in Brutium, we can create greatly expand. We can create greatly expand its role. That's a weird sentence. As a mayor center for overseas trade. Uh, if I want this one, I need one foundry in Lockery. Uh, where's that? I need a foundry in here. I don't think we can build one, because I don't have the innovation. So I think that's actually the next one that we need. Blacksmith... Uh, which one? Blacksmith Apprentices. Let's see if we can find it. It should be somewhere in Civic Advances, you know. Blacksmith. I feel like it's here. It could be a Marshal, of course, as well. Um, potentially. Blacksmith. It's not here, at least. Blacksmith, blacksmith. Uh, learning, we don't, we haven't, still not gotten for those things. Um, this one, we need this one. So we need to go down this route. We need this one, then we need this one. So I need two innovations, it will happen. It's gonna take some time, you know? But it's going to happen eventually, I guess, until we can finish this mission. If I even need this thing. Oh, okay. One mega galley. That's interesting. Why can't I write and wait for this last farming settlement to be finished? Strong men of Magna Gratia. The ongoing strengthening of our authority in Capua seems to have upset quite a few local strongmen in Magna Gratia. In name, they have all sworn their alliance to the Republic, but with stone being added on stone for the local fortifications and with a growing cadre of local bureaucrats to support our governor, there is worry in the ranks. We could likely lessen the, the perceived threat of our more present authority if we invited some local potent hates to settle in the city and take part in the institutions we are building. Okay, I don't... I'm not going to lose one base tax, you know. 
There's no room for the kind in Capua. You lose loyalty, but I get provincial loyalty for 10 years. You want me to improve the promise of Eternium? Religious complexes. I guess I have to because the Bani are the strongest people in the Senate. I have no option. But I finally have a second navy. <laughs> Not a second navy, I have a second legion. That makes me happy, you know? It makes me incredibly happy to have a second legion. Man, that's awesome. That's awesome. Olympia is prospering. Marvelous increased taxes. Yeah, marvelous increased taxes. That's okay. It's increased my income. Why did my income go up so much? Oh. Cottage is apparently unstable and they're having some revolt things happening. That's very interesting. It's not like Massilia is going to win this, but it's still very interesting, you know. Okay, so what can we do? Granary of Granary. Magnagratia. I cannot even go for that one. Uh, can't go for any of those because I haven't done them. Okay, I want merchants of Capua. The city council of Capua has approached us asking for us to further help the development of the city. It is already home to a number of wealthy merchants and it's in, it is the view of the council that this is the group we should further strengthen in order for the city to grow to its full potential as our center power in the region. Absolutely. And then I can go for this one if we have three... Three libraries in Pastem. I need three libraries here. That's a bit weird, you know? Is there a reason why this? Oh, apparently there's a special place this. So if I want this to happen, I need this one to happen first. And then it's gonna go for... It would get a food depot for forever, you know? But I would need to make Venusia into the capital of Apulia, which I see no reason to do. So I'm just going to go for bread for circuses when we have the option to. I think. Oh, finally, people are feeling happy. That makes me happy, that people are feeling happy. <laughs> nice. That's really nice. How is this revolt thing going? Fruits of Ap Apulia. Apulia is one of the more fertile provinces in of Magna Gratia, and with the right support, its farms could feed the entire region. And bread and circuses. Circuses. Particularly rich harvest have created the food surplus larger than what our local food storage can handle. This is a golden opportunity to do something for the people of Rome and re redistribute the produce amongst those that need it the most. Bountiful harvest. That's a lot of gold, you know. But I think I'd rather get the stability for now. Uh, Grow to Capua. So Capua needs an aqueduct, court of law, and a granary. Aqueduct, court of law, aqueduct, um, court of law, and a granary. I must. My research! Why? My res my beautiful research. Oh. <coughs> That's sad. It makes me sad. A group of senators with a vested interest in military matters of the state have asked Gaius Junius to represent their interests. Claiming that they are becoming increasingly displaced with the direction our great nation is taking, they have issued an ultimatum. I don't care about you guys, go away. Stop whining. Okay, I'm gonna be a dictator for life with this guy. Because he's actually sitting on this position for 45 years. Awesome. He's not that popular, though. A good riddance. This guy is probably going to die. Or could die. Because he's stupid. And the head of the Fabi, Fabi people died. Okay, so we need to go towards Skidian Saddles and then this one. So, with better saddles, our cavalry are sure more comfortable riding their horses and having more control over their mounts while engaging in combat or engaged in combat and then we can go for the blacksmith things we can build a foundry down here trade hub developing uh, i 
want some slaves. I want productivity. You know? I want production. Great temples of Pastum. That was quick. With his temples to Hera and Athena, this is the most important religious sanctuary in the southern Italian peninsula. I had no idea. By the grace of the gods, we have become the custodians of this place. Encouraged by the focus of the state now being on Magna Graecia, the priests of these temples have come forward suggesting that we spend time and effort on improving the standing of their city. Absolutely. Venusia breeding program. We... We need to import horses to Venusia. Grow the Capua. Renovate the Pastum Shrines. The great shrines of Pastum are not living up to expectations of the divine gods that they honor. We must expand the renovated temple complex and make it worthy of our name. That's a lot of population output going down, but I see no reason. The priest of Pastum as well as the Pontifex Maximus have greeted our decision to renovate and expand on the holy shrine of Pastum with great joy and apprehension. In time it is it is their hope that the city and its holy sites will become one of the great jewels of our nation and the Roman world. And then we have those things. I don't particularly know. I'm going to have to look at this thing in the future. I'm actually going to take a break, you guys. So if you have enjoyed this episode, make sure to like the video. It's been a lot of building up things. We also get the second legion, and of course, don't forget to rem helping me to give this legion a name. Okay, so write down in the comments what you want this legion to be called. Also, make sure to like this video if you have enjoyed Cottage Wonder Civil War, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. So, see you soon, guys. Take care.